FFA started out with only having around 88 students and um, we were a suburban area that wasn't, you know, the typical rural farm town. And so our students really were not active. They didn't participate. We had a couple of people that showed animals and a couple of people that competed. And just here in the last nine or 10 years, we've gotten an amazing group of ag teachers that has really been passionate about growing the program. Um, just being a part of the community as a whole, teaching kids to be leaders. And um, that's one of the reasons I kind of wanted to highlight the program because it's grown from about 88 members to well over 850. Uh, geometry and Construction is a neat program that puts the class geometry in with a construction class. And we teach the students how to use geometry and then go into construction and take it uh, actually where they apply the math as to what they've been using in the classroom. So you take the classroom and put it in the shop and all of a sudden they're using math in the real world. Well, if I would like to do like a small project of my own, I can apply all the skills that I've learned in this class and it could help me. So um, the skills students gain in, their, in this class aren't necessarily the traditional skills that they would learn in the everyday high school classroom. Um, they learn things, they're doing things with their hands, they're um, budgeting, they're running a business. So even if kids aren't to go directly into the floral, floral industry or even a horticulture um, job in general, they have the skills to go on and even if they even if that wasn't going to be their like lifetime career choice, they could use those skills to get a starter job or a job to take them through college. There, you know, some people think that FFA is just, you know, just competing with the animals, but there's a variety of things. You have vet, veterinarians that you can compete with, you have flower, floral design, there's uh, tons of things that you can compete with in MHS FFA. Our CDEs and our LDEs um, are, is a category in our program that allows the students to kind of use the skills that they learn inside and outside the classroom in order to compete against other, other schools that are locally and statewide. So CDEs are career development events and that's what we're going to be doing this upcoming spring and what we did every other spring as well. And those are more like our judging contests and different contests where we kind of use our knowledge on the agriculture industry to judge livestock or judge cows or identify plants or things like that. And it's really just learning more in turn kind of opposed to LDEs where we're using a skill and preparing something. I think that our students are learning a very wide range of skills and um, previously when you only had two teachers those skills were very limited and now we've got this broad spectrum of there's something for everybody.